Hello everyone. I'd like to focus on something in AutoCAD which uh, most people have a problem when first learning. Um, I know I did, but uh, it's quite simple if you understand it. It's called circle by tangent tangent radius. Um, to illustrate how this is done, I've drawn two circles, one with a radius of 20 and one with a radius of 10. And I'm going to illustrate all the different ways in which we can use a circle of a radius of a hundred, I'll draw it over here, in which this circle can be attached through tangents to those two existing circles. So consider this scenario over here with the two circles are touching on the outside. It can either go up the curve, down like that, and then of course they may fit on the outside and they might even join up like so or there so let's see how that is done the circle drop down command we'll find on our uh, toolbar tantan radius and the first mission is we have to so let's just first of all look at what circle we are trying to draw this one over here so our end result will be something like that the circle will have a radius of a hundred and it must touch these two circles tangentially somewhere over there now keep that in your mind that the point of tangency will be here and there and that the center of the circle will be up here somewhere. Those are the two things that we have to keep in our mind or visualize if you want before we draw the circle. So we start with a circle tan and you can see how it stores it over here. It recognizes that the last um, sub command that I've used is tan tan radius. And now I have to guess, just guess, in the region where it's going to be tangent to the circle and I click and then over here and I click so now the computer understands or AutoCAD understands where these circles are supposed to be kind of supposed to be tangent to those circles and this is what confuses most people it's different from most other AutoCAD commands that I know just hover hover your mouse on the side where the center of the circle will be and then specify the radius of the circle in this case 100 and enter and the computer is then able to interpret the algorithm to say right it's in this area over here it's in that area over there and there we go let's try it going the other way so now I'm going to aim for a circle that's going to be something like that circle I can use the sub command TTR it's going to be tangent here somewhere around there hover on the side at the center of the circle is going to be and input the 100 for the radius what if I want the circle to go the other way then again circle tan tan radius hover on the side of the center of the circle and there it goes same for the top tangent there, tangent there, center of the circle up here somewhere just hover and type in 100 for the radius there it goes and similarly if I wanted to go tangent here tangent there, center of the circle at the top and I can have it going the other way as well circle, tangent -tan radius, tangent here, tangent there center here and 100. In addition to joining circles up like that, you can also uh, use a tan tan radius to approximate a fillet. So tangent to this line, tangent to that line, with argument's sake a radius of 15. Or in a situation like this, 
circle 10 10 radius 5 so I hope you've enjoyed this short little video explaining how to create circles with tan tan radius and if you have any questions please let us know so we can assist you with that enjoy AutoCAD